The Han Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans, the three major ethnic groups of East Asia, share many similarities in appearance, language, and culture. However, their genetic relationships, divergence times, and the genetic exchanges that occurred afterward have not been thoroughly studied. East Asia is one of the most populated regions in the world, making up about 38% of Asia's population, or roughly 22% of the global population. The people in East Asia, particularly the three main ethnic groups, Han Chinese, Japanese and Koreans, share many physical traits. Additionally, their languages have similarities. For instance, Chinese characters are used in Japanese and were used in Korean until the 1940s. While many studies have explored the genetic structure of global populations, the details of population structure within East Asia haven't been thoroughly examined. In past studies, Han Chinese and Japanese samples were often grouped together, and Korean samples were sometimes left out of major international projects like the International HapMap Project and the 1000 Genomes Project because they were assumed to be similar to the Han Chinese and Japanese. A recent study gave an overview of genetic variation in Asian populations, but didn't go into detail about the genetic differences among Han Chinese, Japanese and Koreans. This was partly due to the lack of detailed data. In current study, scientists analyzed 100 Korean samples, along with 182 Han Chinese and 90 Japanese samples. Scientists aim to answer some key questions about the genetic history of these three ethnic groups. What is their genetic makeup? How distinct are they from each other? Scientists also investigated their population history and origins using the latest methods and explored whether there has been gene flow between these groups since they split. This research work aim to enhance our understanding of human genetic diversity and migration in East Asia and provide valuable information for future studies involving these populations. To study the genetic relationships among East Asian groups, scientists analyzed genetic data from 1,032 people across 12 populations. Scientists measured genetic differences using a statistic called FST. The smallest differences were found between North and South Han Chinese, followed by the differences between Chinese Dai and Vietnamese, and between Han Chinese and Koreans. The genetic difference between Koreans and Japanese is slightly larger than between Koreans and Han Chinese, but still smaller than the difference between two Mongolian groups. Overall, Han Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans are genetically closer to each other than to Europeans, highlighting their closer relationship. Although East Asian individuals appear similar in global population analyses, a closer examination reveals significant genetic differences among them. When analyzing 10 East Asian populations using PCA, Principal Component Analysis, Han Chinese and Southern populations, like the Dai and Vietnamese, were separated from others. Mongolians and Tibetans clustered together, while Japanese and Ryukyuans formed another group. This shows a clear genetic substructure within East Asia. When only Han Chinese, Japanese and Korean populations were analyzed, distinct clusters for each group emerged, with Han Chinese being separate from Japanese and Koreans. Despite their similar appearances, Han Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans have noticeable genetic differences, which are more significant than the differences between northern and southern Han Chinese populations. To understand the population history of the three East Asian ethnic groups, scientists analyzed and estimated their effective population sizes over time, going back five to 250,000 years. Their findings showed that African populations had the largest effective population size until about 12,500 years ago, when East Asian populations began to grow rapidly. Among East Asians, the Dai and Vietnamese had the largest effective population size 
followed by the northern Han Chinese. Tibetans and Mongolians had larger effective population size than southern Han Chinese and Koreans in ancient times, but grew more slowly in the past 7,500 years. Koreans had similar effective population size to Japanese and Mongolians in the past, but have grown more rapidly in the last 12,500 years. Scientists found that the Han Chinese and Japanese share a common ancestor from about 3 to 3.6 thousand years ago, around the time of China's Shang Dynasty. Koreans and Northern Han Chinese had frequent interactions in ancient times with their divergence estimated at around 1.2 thousand years ago, during the late Three Kingdoms period in Korea and the Tang Dynasty in China. The Japanese and Koreans separated around 1.4 thousand years ago, slightly earlier than the split between Koreans and Han Chinese, during Japan's Asuka period and the middle of Korea's Three Kingdoms period. To study the genetic makeup of East Asian groups, researchers used a method called structure to analyze DNA data. They found that East Asian populations have unique genetic components that are different from those of Europeans or Africans. For example, East Asians have very little African ancestry, less than 0.5%, while Mongolians have some European ancestry, 12.5% to 16.9%. Three main genetic components were identified. A Northern East Asian component, NEAC, found widely across East Asia, a Southern East Asian component, SEEAC, mostly in mainland populations like Han Chinese and Vietnamese, and a Ryukyuan component, RC, mainly in island populations like Japanese and Koreans. Tibetans and Mongolians showed influences from NEAC and had some unique Tibetan genetic components as well. Another method called admixture confirmed these findings, showing three main ancestral components in East Asians, NEAC, SEAC, and RC. These components are present in different proportions across East Asian populations, with NEAC being common in Han Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, Tibetans, and Mongolians, while SEAC and RC are more specific to certain regions. In this project, scientists also conducted a comprehensive genome-wide study of three East Asian populations using high-density SNP data. Based on these results, scientists now recommend that these three East Asian ethnic groups be treated as separate populations in future research, especially in evolutionary and medical studies where population structure is significant. In addition to global differences, the specific genetic markers they identified also show notable variation in local genomic regions among these populations. For instance, several highly differentiated SNPs are concentrated in the CD46 gene, located on chromosome 1q32, which plays a role in the complement system as a type I membrane protein. These highly differentiated regions might be the result of regional adaptation to certain pathogens, though further research is needed to confirm this. The genetic differences among these groups likely originated from population divergence due to prehistoric or historical migrations. The different geographical locations of the three populations, mainland China, the Korean Peninsula, and the Japanese archipelago, likely contributed to this differentiation through physical isolation and independent genetic drift. Scientists' estimates of population divergence times, ranging from 1.2 to 3.6 thousand years ago, align closely with the known histories of these populations. However, it's important to note that recent mixing of these populations may have reduced genetic differences, possibly leading to an underestimation of the actual divergence times. Scientists found significant gene flow between the three populations, Han Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, as well as from neighboring populations. For example, using the F3 test, scientists discovered that Koreans received gene flow 
from both Han Chinese and Japanese, and there was also gene flow between Han Chinese and Japanese. This gene flow likely reduced the genetic differences between the three groups. For example, an ancestral population represented by the Rukuan people contributed more to the Japanese than to the Han Chinese, while southern groups like the Dai had more influence on mainland populations than on island and peninsula populations. Unlike the gene flow among the three groups, gene flow from surrounding populations likely increased the genetic differences among them if it came from different sources independently. Results suggest that the primary sources of gene flow into the three ethnic groups were quite different. For Han Chinese, it mainly came from southern ethnic groups. For Japanese, it was from southern islands. And for Koreans, it was from both the mainland and islands. The three populations, Han Chinese, Japanese and Korean, share similar but not identical demographic histories, all experiencing significant population growth over the last 20,000 years. However, due to their different geographic locations, their effective population size and rates of population expansion differ. Northern Han Chinese had a larger effective population size than Southern Han Chinese in earlier times. The Japanese and Koreans had similar effective population size throughout most of history, but the Korean population expanded much faster in recent thousands of years, suggesting that the peninsula had a higher potential for population growth compared to the islands. Estimates also showed that Han Chinese had a much faster expansion rate than the Japanese and Koreans, indicating that the continental environment offered an even greater potential for population growth than the peninsula or islands. However, the increase in effective population size among East Asian populations may also be partly due to recent population mixing, which tends to increase genetic diversity and therefore effective population size. Lastly, natural selection likely played a significant role in shaping the genetic diversity of these populations. Scientists identified several genomic regions with significant differences between Han Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, particularly in genes related to the neurological system and cell communication. There were also notable selective signals in regions associated with EGF-like and collagen-like domains. The physiological and evolutionary importance of these selective signals requires further investigation. The study also reveals the complexities and potential inaccuracies in estimating population divergence times, especially when recent admixture is involved. Researchers must account for these challenges to avoid underestimating divergence times and to better understand the evolutionary history of populations. It also underscores the importance of using high-density genetic data and advanced analytical methods to uncover fine-scale population structures and evolutionary patterns. Comprehensive data are crucial for drawing accurate and meaningful conclusions in population genetics research. In summary, the study provides a comprehensive understanding of the genetic relationships, divergence, and admixture among Han Chinese, Japanese, and Korean populations. It highlights the importance of considering geographical and historical contexts in genetic research and offers valuable insights for future studies in evolutionary biology and medical genetics. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.